oddly, the Prime Minister, I think this is what I'm taking away from the first hour of the programme today, the Prime Minister is simultaneously supportive of the chief medical officer saying the stuff that essentially causes a a write-off for, for, for hospitality or massive cancellations while claiming that he's not. And I don't know if it's to save money, actually, as Greg suggested. I don't know if it's to avoid having to provide compensation. I mean, how could you know if the Chancellor's not even in the country? It's how much of a priority that would be. I think it's more about Johnson actually doing what he... It's double column syndrome. There it is. It's double column syndrome, isn't it? Or, 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 the, or, the, or the O'Brien's theory of the, of the coin toss. He's trying to do both things at the same time. He's trying to talk down the dangers because that's what one audience wants to hear while letting Chris Whitty talk up the dangers because that's what the country actually needs to hear. So he's... He's bright enough to realise, unlike, for example, Joy Morrissey or Steve Bryan, he's bright enough to realise that the country not only has a right, but also a need to hear from the chief medical officer. But he doesn't really like what the chief medical officer is saying, or he knows that this rebellious wing of his own party won't like what the chief medical officer is saying. And rather than task himself with the job of explaining to them that the earth is actually round and that the virus doesn't actually care about their feelings, he's trying to appease them by uh, saying things like, well, you should still have a party. He's trying to appease them by talking down the dangers while also allowing Chris Whitty to essentially pursue the opposite. Cold War Steve, the genius of... Uh, uh, photographic manipulation has a naked Boris Johnson wandering around in a sandwich board saying have a party while a very beleaguered looking fully clothed Chris Whitty is walking around in a sandwich board saying maybe don't have a party and that's where we are we're back to Matt Lucas at the very beginning of this nightmare saying go out but don't go out work from home but don't work from home I mean that's what he's doing again it's double column syndrome isn't it is that well I've written both columns the problem is he's prime minister now he's not a daily telegraph columnist so it's not the luxury, really. He doesn't have the luxury of being able to decide at the last minute which column is going to go to the press. He essentially tries to publish them both, although Chris Whitty's byline is on one of them. I think, I think we've worked that out, have we? That sounds to me like a pretty... I mean, great calls, as ever, actually, on this programme. But I think we've nailed down exactly what was going on now as a result, perhaps. Loosely described as, as double column syndrome, but the double column syndrome being a consequence of the cowardice and the populism and the other factors so brilliantly described by my callers.